my name is Dr. Matti Adam. I'm from uh, Cologne, uh, University Hospital of Cologne, uh, here in Germany, and I'm an interventional cardiologist. And today um, um, we're speaking about the Trinity Gene Valve System um, and the data that we presented for patients that we treated with aortic stenosis with this system. So the aim of the study was to evaluate the Trilogy Yena Valve System, which is a new uh, tower system on the market uh, for transfemoral use. And the aim was to evaluate this in patients with aortic stenosis. Um, the system itself got a CE market approval in Europe in the year 2021, very recently. And so we collected uh, data from six German high volume centers to evaluate this. So, um, the special design of that valve is, or the unique design fe um, features that this valve has are three locators. And these three locators will go into each nadir of each coronary cusp um, and in each aortic valve cusp and sit there. And once the valve is um, expanded, the ceiling ring will get into contact with um, the locators and basically clip on, on the aortic valve. So this gives us a little, um, this gives us certain advantages, gives us the advantage of a little uh, of, of less dislocation um, um, of less dislocation danger it will give also um, more sealing because this mechanism this clipping mechanism will allow us more sealing and um, also we have coronary alignment by definition because or by design because these three locators will go into each cusp and then therefore are aligned so we were very um, yeah very very intrigued about the first results of this uh, of this system so the patient population, um, so the study design that started with that first was a registry. Uh, after CE mark um, in 2021, we collected data from uh, all commerce patients basically who were assigned to get a Yena valve for aortic stenosis. So we were looking at aortic stenosis cases um, in Germany after CE mark in a registry in six high volume centers. Um, overall, um, 73 patients were implanted a Yena valve and 28 of them were patients with aortic stenosis. You'll also have the possibility to see the AR data, which is also presented uh, at, in Paris um, from Alexander Tom from Mainz. And I specifically looked at the AS data. Um, the, it, it was an uh, intermediate risk population group. So we had a Euro score of um, 5.9. Um, and it was a very clear aortic stenosis group as well because um, the mean gradient over the aortic valve was 42.5 and the Eggleston score was over 3000 so it was highly calcified patients with a you know clearly um, um, severe aortic valve stenosis well the key findings were that all procedures were done uh, successfully via the transfermal approach um, which um, was important because the system has been on the market as a transepical system and uh, for a couple of years. And now the company has come back with the transfermal system, the trilogy system. So uh, of course, I mean, that was an important point that all of the transfermal procedures were uh, done successfully. Um, there was no conversion to surgery. Um, so no second valve implanted. So high, highly efficient implantation of one valve um, with uh, no complications here. Uh, we had no major or life-threatening vascular or major bleeding events in our patient population. We had one stroke in, in that population, which was a minor stroke and the patient left the hospital uh, without, um, with full, um, so, so with no symptoms left. And um, there was one death of a patient which was absolutely unrelated to the procedure, it was a patient who was on extracorporeal life support before running into the procedure and ended up, um, yeah, ended up, um, not surviving because of um, ischemic um, brain injury. Um, the performance of the valve itself was, was outstanding. Um, the reduction of the gradient was uh, down to 6.4 mean, so uh, very good single digit numbers in terms of mean gradient with a uh, aortic valve area after valve implantation of 2.2. Um, we had no moderate or severe PVL. Um, so um, very good results with respect to PVL as well. 14% uh, of the patients had mild PVL and 86% of the patients had trace or none. Um, but the, uh, the, for me, the most, outstanding, uh, mm, the most outstanding part of the data uh, is that um, we had no pacemaker implantation. So our pacemaker rate was 0%. And so out of the 28 patients implanted with the valve, no, no patient had to be implanted 
a permanent pacemaker. So uh, the take home messages for clinicians um, regarding this registry, I think are that the Trilogy Yenada system is, uh, has shown promising results in that early experience um, with that new system. Uh, we had no pacemaker rates after implantation of 28 patients. We had no moderate or severe PVL in these patients. Um, and overall, we had a technical success rate of 100% and a device success rate uh, VARC3 of 96.4%. So um, that's quite promising. Also, um, I think, you know, speaking about lifetime management, we have coronary alignment by design with this valve um, and we will have good coronary access later on. So if you think about that, that might actually be something that um, we should also consider when we use this valve. Clearly the next steps are to um, increase numbers. Uh, so we will further um, help setting up a registry of all patients that have been or, and, you know, perfectly. That would be the, the, the aim would be to uh, um, include all patients in registries that are implanted at Trilogy System Wealth. Um, and we have to, of course, um, wait for data from randomized trials. Um, there are randomized trials in the US and Europe using that system for aortic regurgitation, which uh, I think is important. So we might be able to learn something there um, as well. And uh, also, I mean, this, um, yeah, we need randomized trials for aortic stenosis as well with this valve and um, see if the very promising results uh, hold um, hold what they promise right now.